Right, hello. So, um, yeah, if you've seen the news recently, the UK is now closing down all restaurants, pubs, bars, gyms, everything like that. So what sort of shops will remain open? I don't know, maybe pharmacies, supermarkets. There's not going to be much because a lot of jobs are closed down. Most sporting events are closed down. So this is, you know, only a day or two after saying they didn't need to do this. Um, but yeah, there we go. The lighting looks a bit strange on the camera for me. Let me just see if I can sort that out a bit better. There we go. Um, so yeah, basically, right, bitch boy, I don't know if they're going to be locking down stuff as in you can't travel anywhere, but at the moment, uh, as of tonight, pubs, clubs, restaurants, cafes, all that sort of stuff is closed. Nearly all the football and everything's off. Um, you know, all that sort of stuff. I'm not in London, thankfully. Um, yeah, Riley, why not? It's not going to be any good for NBC protection, but, you know. It's a cool-looking mask, isn't it? But, um... Or as in people trying to buy loads and loads and loads of stuff, MCDS through the post. Yeah, that's interesting. Right, cool, I'll check after the stream, Mike, but yeah. So yeah, I just found out from my job as of this evening um, that they don't want me to go into work this weekend and they don't even know when I'm going back to work, if I'm going back to work, you know, that sort of thing. So uh, that's a bit interesting, isn't it? But yeah, that's going to be the case for a lot of people in the UK at the moment, just simply because, um, you know, uh, what's just happened. So um George says, my friend found out that the Scott makes an adapter for Firefighter SCBAs that makes it 40mm compatible and gives it an XL valve. He ordered one through the fire department. That sounds very interesting. Yeah, I suppose as long as, long as it makes the pressure work in the mask, fine. That should be quite interesting. Um, it's better than nothing, Connor, but the Yugoslavian M1 mounts and has like very low quality threads and stuff like that. So if you could get any other mask, I'd probably recommend any other mask over it. But if you could have that... and that or nothing. It's better than nothing, isn't it? I can't tell you when we're going to be locked down, can I? It's, it doesn't matter how many times you ask it. All I can tell you is that they're already closing down loads of different types of shops and, you know, like social things. What do you mean masks and preps? Don't think they've disappeared anywhere. Well, Charlie, what they the government have said is that they're going to pay 80% of all the wages of people in these um, places. Thank you very much, Frank Lafitas. I really appreciate it. But yeah, so for those of you that didn't hear, and thank you, Frank, um, at the moment, my job's basically said you're not allowed to go in because of government lockdown. So um, at the moment, you know, what, what's going to happen? I don't know. Um, for the people that keep saying, when are we going to be on lockdown? I don't know, because I'm not in the government, am I? All I can say is they're basically staggering everything, because putting more and more restrictions on every few days. So at the moment, there's basically no point going out because all nightlife is closed, um, which makes sense because people are just ignoring the warnings not to use it anyway. Um, as far as I'm aware, LB, how it's going to work now is basically your employer um is paid by the government to pay you or 80 percent of your wages are covered by the government and that was so basically employers didn't fire people on mass um so basically the government is paying people's money but this is probably going to lead to massive inflation so whether or not this is going to do really really bad things to the economy i imagine so in the long run but in the short term um they're doing it just to stop mass layoffs and people basically running out of money completely Shoto says, what Christmas do you think could protect you from the coronavirus? How could Christmas protect you from the coronavirus? Yeah, I suppose I'll be in the short term, it's a better thing to do, because if they simply said, you know, the government isn't going to cover anybody's thing, even though the government's essentially closing down these businesses, a lot of people are just going to lose their jobs and be unable to get new jobs and then be in really bad situations. Thank you very much, Nintendo Boy. 
So I meant to ask, on my MP5, I've cleaned it every which way, but the visor is still smeared to hell. Is there a way you know of that I clean it, the visor stay clear? Unfortunately not. If you wipe it, does it seem to clear for a minute and then go foggy again? Um, but I think it's probably just where the rubber hasn't aged too well on the visor because it's made from that polyurethylene or whatever it's called. Um, so I think it's probably just where the rubber's aged a bit, but that's generally a thing that happens to those as they get old. You put it in a sink full of soapy water, Richard. Um, I would rather have a GP5 filter betwixt if it was in good condition. But, you know, that's just because you kind of can almost work out how much damage you'd be doing to your lungs um, through a period of wearing it out and about, which wouldn't be very much, as opposed to people coughing on you with a disease that causes pneumonia. Probably not Templar Airsoft, because the Scott Pro 2000 is a 40mm NATO, as in RD40 Stanag type filter. CM3 is Ghost. If you added rubber washers and all that, you could force it on, but again, it's going to probably damage the threads as you force it on, but it would work. Thank you very much, Frank Lafitas. He says, so I'm sure you've answered this multiple times. I'm sorry to take uh, make you repeat yourself, but what filter would be good to use for the virus in public places? Would a NATO filter typically work? NATO filters would work fine. Do you mean like a NATO military filter? But um, basically, any NATO military filter is generally like ABE2, um, maybe with ammonia protection, maybe not, and always like P2 or P3. So for the most part, yes, NATO military filters would be fine. Uh, the only filters I wouldn't think would be good enough is if you randomly found industrial filters that were like A1, you know, and that was it, like a vapor-only filter. And thank you very much, Iverson Free. He says, MP5 came today completely cracked and broken. Can you complain to the seller? But that's not what you need, is it, when you need a mask probably quite quickly. Um, but yeah, that's the thing. Out of interest, does it say mask pole on it, Iverson, or is it actually one of the French ones? Because supposedly, a lot of people have told me it's the actual French masks that are always in worse condition than the um, Polish ones. All right, don't forget to like the stream, everybody, if you haven't liked it so far. All right, thank you very much again, Frank Defetus. If it's a military filter, you're probably completely golden, because they've got the um, you know biological and uh, radiation protection on them. Basically, having a particle filter at the front, that would work absolutely fine. So yes, as far as I'm aware, whatever filter you have would be absolutely fine. So hopefully that answered your question. I'm just seeing if I can get that new interface up again, the swanky new interface. Not that I actually played a video on it, but it's actually quite good because it gives different metrics on it. But there we go. Oh, if it's a NATO mask zombie junk and it's an in-date NATO feeder, uh I was going to say NATO fetus, NATO, NATO filter, then that, yeah, that's good. But um, if you've got a ghost mask, obviously forcing it on is going to damage a ghost thread. If you're assuming it's going to be over a year frying bacon, um, probably quite a few spare filters. Um, again, depends if you look after the filters properly, but I, the more you can get, the better. Right, there's a chart in the background that shows GP5 size measurements, but you get a tape measure, you put it from here under your chin to like there on your head, so you loop it around like that, and then you measure it. Let me see if I've got a tape measure in one of these drawers, because if I have, I can demonstrate it for you, how you'd measure for a GP5. You can look the charts up online. Right, I have. Okay, it's your lucky day. So what you do is you get a tape measure. Let's pull that out a bit more. And you can generally use a GP5 sizing guide to just get a rough estimate on a lot of masks, what would fit you. Okay, so what you want to do is basically do something a bit like that. So, let's come out of the thing, but under your chin like that to about there on your head. Then check what the size is. So, for me, that's about 25, 26 inches or um, 63, 64, 65 centimetres. So what you do is you then look up a GP5 size chart, match that up. So let's say 63 to 65 centimetres, GP5, that would be a size 1 to size 2. Although I personally find with a GP5, size 2 is a bit tight, size 3 is a bit loose. 
So again, it's only an estimate because obviously over time the sizes vary a bit, don't they? And you know, degrade a bit, and Soviet quality standards probably meant every single one wasn't built to a standard size. Uh, Frank Fetus, thank you very much again. He said, I mixed up my mask filters. I meant, would an NBC, NBC filter be good for the virus? My apologies. Yes, um, it would, because obviously NBC, nuclear biological chemical. The B in it, biological, biological warfare agents. A biological threat would be a virus. Now, again, we'll have to keep going back to the thing of, as a lot of people have said, which is a good point, if somebody was coughing directly into your filter, there's a chance that much smaller virus microns could force themselves through the filter. However, in terms of when you say, you know, would in general use, would a biological like NBC filter block viral particles? Yes, because they're not traveling on their own. They're having to travel on phlegm, spittle, that kind of thing. Right, thank you to the other people. A D G S D G A S G A S A G S G S. Thank you very much. He says, I bought the Zelinsky Mag 1 second hand, but one of the valves in the oral nasal cup arrived misshapen. Is it possible to buy spares? And if so, where? Right, probably. Let me have a think about that. Are they just standard umbrella valves in the oral nasal cup? And thank you very much, Sparry. He said, by FM12 VPU arrives tomorrow, so voice projection unit. Looks wicked, mate. Cool. So you can look like Hunk from Resident Evil, can't you, with that? Right. ADG, SDG. Let me have a think. So, do you mean, I know this isn't the mask, but do you basically mean one of the valves like that? These sort of little umbrella valves they put in the oral nasal cup. That kind of thing. You probably can't see it very well there, but one of these, like, is that what you mean? Just like a little umbrella valve that's in the oral nasal cup. Because if so, what you should be able to do uh, yeah, is get, um, they're normally called umbrella valves. If you look in hardware stores, they're generally called um, um, umbrella valves, and they're used in a lot of hardware applications. So if you buy a multi-pack that's in loads of sizes, you can find a one that's the closest size to the Zelinsky, cut it to shape if need be, and then just shove it through, and it should work fine. Yeah, little rubber bit that can be removed in the shape of a circle, umbrella valve is the name you're looking for. Oh, and thank you very much, whoever it was that said base British person, or whatever it was. Um, what Doff Life says, base Brit, you are a gentleman and scholar for your info streams. Thank you very much, I appreciate it. Well, I might be doing a lot more videos soon, because it seems like, because my job, the government has said I'm not allowed to go in for anymore, um, other than volunteering at the animal shelter, assuming they can't stop me doing that, because again, that will be volunteering for free, but for it's a good course, I'm going to go, I'm going to cabin fever, I think, if I can't go out and do anything. Um, other than doing charity volunteering soon, it looks like I'm not going to be allowed to do much because the government's go stopping us going, going out and doing anything, any doing anything. Yeah, let me see if I can find you some, but they are normally called umbrella valves. When I looked for somebody who asked the other day, I couldn't find many for sale. Right, here's just a link on eBay if I can get the, um... Let me just see on eBay if I can just get a pack up just so you can see the kind of thing I mean. Right, if this link will fit for you, if it's not too long. Yeah, there you go. Right, if you click that link, obviously you'd have to find ones that are right size, but yeah, they're generally just called umbrella valves. They're pretty standard. It's actually hard on a lot of really old masks because on old masks, they're the weird kind of... Um, you know, connectors which don't kind of match up with a lot of ones. You know, like how GP5s have those kind of weird semi, not even semi circular, like oblong? Wouldn't even mean oblong, would it? Where they're um, rectangles but with rounded edges they have on the XL valves. Joni Harry says, dive supply store. Excellent idea. Yeah, stuff that's all uh, stuff to do with tanks and all that sort of air pressure stuff should definitely sell that sort of stuff. No problem, glad to help you in that. Yeah, that was one of the things where for ages I had to, um... Right, the point in an umbrella valve, generally, Frank, is that obviously it only goes one way. Let's see if I can demonstrate it. What I'd really love to know is where I've got my pack of spare valves. But, okay, so let's look at this with umbrella valves here. So, how an umbrella valve works... Can I fold this inside out? Um, thank you very much, Nintendo boy. So, there's your umbrella valve. How they work, um, although this is just cheap foam on here. I never realised that. These aren't even rubber. These are foam on here. Okay, bad example. Right. 
Right, let, thank you very much, Nintendo Boy. Let me read your comment. And uh, by the way, like I said, my C4 came say, was that Czech CM4 or Canadian C4? And that was clear C3 or Oh, yeah, you said to on Discord, didn't you? Whereas you're out of black one, any different variants of that mask that you're on. The only thing I know of C4s is, wasn't it originally they did the black ones, and then they were the ones that sometimes had the glue kind of falling apart issue on them, so then they made them all in green? But it wouldn't surprise me at some point if they had to fit a custom oral nasal cup to one of them, so they just put a clear one in. Right, so an umbrella valve. The point of the umbrella valve is it only lets air flow one way. So, basic bit of physics, really. You've got your umbrella valve. How they work is you've got like a little spike kind of thing holding it through. See there? The plastic. Can I pull this out without damaging it? Oh, I think I've snapped that there. Or have I? Hmm. All right, I'm going to have to try and force that back on. But okay, here's your umbrella valve. I've pulled one off, but you donated money, so I don't mind. So that's your umbrella valve. How they work is, let's say you want the mask to seal one way. Let's say you're breathing in. They can flap up that way, but if you've got like a grid against it, they can't flap down the other way and let air go the wrong way. So it's basically like having a one-way valve. The idea basically being that air flows through the mask in the direction you want it to flow through. Um... You know, so that's the advantage of an umbrella valve, is that basically they go one way and not the other way. Um, if you didn't have valves, masks wouldn't pressurise very well. That's the issue of them. I want to see now if I can get this back on this filter or if I fucked it. Oh, good, I've, I've managed to fix it. But yeah, basically, because there's plastic there, the umbrella valve won't go that way. It will only go this way. So it means you can breathe through the filter but not out the filter. Yeah, generally, Frank, that might be because there's too much air being forced through a small space. Right, everybody, you know things are getting bad now because my mum asked me to get uh, fit check her for a mask. So my actual mother now, who has never found gas masks interesting at all, said to me, can you get a mask to fit me, please? I'm, I want a mask. So, you know, shows you what's going on, doesn't it? Oh, that was a very good price, Russell. Where did you get those from, if you don't mind us asking? Because, um, you know, other people might need them. Yeah, eye protection again. If you're wearing a half face mask, get eye protection. Right, loads of people are trying to PM me on my phone at the moment, but I have to just read that after the stream, obviously. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, although I tried to get my dad to wear a mask because my dad said he was going into town tomorrow on public transport and my mum and myself both told him not to and I said to him, you know, please take a mask and he was like, no. But I do suppose I'm in his will, so there's that, but you know, I'd rather he didn't kill himself. <laughs> Hopefully everything will be fine, but you know, sometimes it can be very frustrating trying to explain to people, especially if they're elderly, why they shouldn't just go out and do something. Oxfordshire sort of area, John. Um, I've only been on N for 18 minutes so far, so probably another 42 minutes or so. No idea, uh, no worry, sorry, Juhash? How, how is your name pronounced? Sorry, I don't know. Uh, which mask are you talking to Richard about? Um... SPKX, what, um, a GP5 or something. Try to find his original comment where he asked. All right, sorry. Let me let me scroll down, and keep up with the chat, and then I'll try and look for questions. Seventy-seven Nobu said, "Do you have a D four nine two mask?" Not as far as I'm aware. Let me look it up. The only thing coming up on that is like some sort of weird tiki mask, and no, I don't have one of those because it wouldn't actually uh, protect you.
Yeah. Has anybody else in the UK been told today that they're not keeping their job? Because um, basic, well, at the moment we've been told that the government will pay our salary so our employers don't fire us. But has anybody else been told they can't go to work anymore because the government doesn't want you to due to quarantine rules? Well, of course they are the watcher. Wow, why do you think the government wants the job centres kept open? Should we do a conspiracy thing? Do you think they're hoping people that go to job centres actually get the plague and die? That might be an idea. My name's Liam John P. Right, John P. Riley. Um, something with two filters probably betwixt. The <clears throat> I know that you can't... Um, probably get them all that easily or for sensible prices anymore but the jsp 48s are probably somewhat good for the elderly just because um you know they're not too claustrophobic because they're only half face masks and they've got two filters so the airflow should be quite good um and as much as they're not very protective m95 masks might be good for the elderly if you can still get some because they're only covering that bit of their face and again if somebody's quite frail you don't want something that they have to put on tight in the straps and do the straps do you if they have arthritic hands or whatever um, well, that's good, GZ um, Juice. But yeah, I imagine there's a lot of companies, aren't there, out and about. Luckily, not the one I work for again, but there's probably a lot where I was hearing that on LBC, like within a day of some companies being told that they shouldn't really stay open, they fired all their staff, even though the government would have paid the wages anyway. So, again, that's like the worst possible thing they could have done, but yeah. P3 and P100, Hayden, is the exact same thing. It's just in America, for some reason, they call them P95. Is it P98 and P100? Or in the UK, we call them P1, P2, P3. Um, and I think most European countries are P1, P2, P3. China as well, isn't it? It's probably just America that uses P95, P98, P100. Um, is CCF3 actually the name of the model of filter, SPKX? I'm just wondering, is CCF3 an actual type of like filter model? Because it's not a protection level. Um, thank you again, Nintendo Boy. He said, I just emailed Surplus Store about that little black thing that came with your mask, so I don't throw it away. Let's find out. It'll probably turn out to be something really weird. Have you got a Geiger counter just in case it turns out to be some really radioactive bit of metal and you've had it sitting there the entire time? Because, you know, stuff like strontium doesn't exactly look radioactive, even though it's highly radioactive. So, yeah. Um, Dorian, as I've said before, the best thing is to, if you want to, you just buy a cheap Thai Chem Tyvek suit kind of thing, like the one behind me. And then when you come in, you can take it off very easily without contaminating lots of other things. And you can just hang it up by your door or whatever or spray it down with rubbing alcohol. Oh, thank you, Arnold. So Arnold Rimmer answered you and said, CFF3 is the name of the French filter. Like it's, you know, like FP5s are the Polish ones. You know, PF10s or whatever they're called is the name of the Avon filters. Uh, you know, the ones that were on the S10 style filter. So apparently it's just the name of the French filter. It doesn't mean anything in terms of protection. Oh, it was plastic, not metal. It had an RNL. So right and left, it would say. Like, it's not something like for a glasses mount, is it? I don't think it looked like that, but just in case it was something that would go in the bridge of the mask, like there, so you could put glasses on it or something. It's the only thing I can think of. Right, P3 is the particulate rating. LB and I think the R, uh, R is something to do with like the amount of oil the filter can withstand or oil vapors in the air or something. Let me look up the advanced P100. Again, you're going to want something that's very um, ah, is that just the 3M filters? Yeah, the I think some of these are more about asking about individual models of masks rather than filters, but yeah. And again, thank you, Frank Fetus. He says, how do you wash a M65 out mask without damaging it? I would do it as in a German M65, the same way I wash most of my masks in the sink. 
as in take the filter off, put it in a sink with warm, not hot water with a bit of washing up liquid, put it in that, and then, you know, clean it down afterwards. If you mean like decontaminating an M65, I'd use rubbing alcohol or whatever else. But in general, most masks you can use the same kind of cleaning down method with. Oh, Jack, at the moment, I'm really not sure because I think we've not really faced anything like this in history. I mean, there's been pandemics before in history, but not ones where the government decides to bail out companies and we go into some sort of weird social experiment to get through it. So I really can't advise. I I don't know if printing money would work or is it just going to wreck you later on? Sending people to work is obviously going to kill a lot of people. Um, you know, I, I don't think anybody has the answer at the moment, so I can't really speculate on what would work and what wouldn't. Um, you could use that, and while the only thing is, if it's only the organic vapour filter, it's not going to offer very good particulate protection. So you're going to want to get one of, like, the 3M6093 filters, whatever they're called. Oh, is 6093 the actual name of it, if I remembered it? Oh, no. 3M filter. Let me look up the actual number of the filter. Ones I actually like. Um... 6035, something like the 3M6035 filter is your best bet because it's actually got a plastic casing protecting the filter medium. What's a Finnish M1A filter? Let me look it up. Um, I'll look it up in a second, thank you. Well, I said 123 said, thank you very much. I wanted to say thanks. You probably saved my life. The Soviet PBF review revealed to me the cheek filters might contain asbestos. Now it's regulated to my movie prop collection. Did wear my M51 on and my M N uh, New York City commute. Right, glad um, glad you didn't wear it. And again, the thing is with PBF, it's probably going to be fine over the short term, and thank you very much. But I think the issue, again, with something like a PBF is the longer you're wearing it and not really thinking about what's in the filter, the longer, you know, you, you could be damaging. I think a lot of these things are accumulatives, aren't they? If you wear it once, you're probably fine. The longer you wear it, the more risks you're probably putting yourself down the line. And thank you very much, Sam. He said, uh, feel bad for those in the third world. In the worst, we can buy old Soviet junk at the very least in the Middle East and Africa. I wish them luck. Yeah, exactly. It's going to be a lot worse in countries with very poor healthcare systems and, you know, no budgets for people to buy PPE because a lot of those people aren't going to have any option but going to work. When they go to work, you know, they're going to be um, exposed to it. Then they're probably malnourished as it is, exposed to all sorts of, you know, as well as this other stuff. And then, you know, no healthcare system to look after them when they get ill, you know. But yeah. I guess our first world privilege is that the government's paying us neat bucks now to sit around and do nothing. Um, but yeah, let me go back to that question I was answering for somebody. Um, survive. Banana oil is what 3M use, I think, in their mass test kits and probably some other chemicals. But um, Let me look up Finnish M1A filter because that was what I was going to do, wasn't it? Assume it's finished with two ends, as in the country of Finland, as in like a Spurdo filter. When I'm Googling Finnish M1A filter, I'm not getting any results. The only Finnish filter I know of off the top of my head is like the Finnish Sudot 61T or whatever it is. Um, you know, the one that's that came with the M61. But if it's a military NBC style filter, it should be fine. Well, that would be a good idea, George, but I think actually the government in a lot of those states don't actually even know where they are, because when you see a lot of urban, explora uh, urban exploration videos from people in, like, former Soviet countries or, you know, like, actual Russia and places like that, they normally comes, uh, come across crates and crates and crates of GP5s, which makes you kind of think that maybe the government doesn't even know where they all are. They made that many. They're just everywhere. It's kind of like, you know, you buy a house, it comes with an obligatory uh, crate of Soviet civil defense equipment. If you've never watched um, Soviet urban exploration videos, they're pretty fascinating. When somebody's just going through a bunker and it's like nothing but Geiger counters, you know, gas masks, you know, and all sorts of weird equipment, boots, NBC suits, pickaxes. I imagine that's to dig yourself out if the bu um, bunker collapses on top of you, like, you know, spades and pickaxes, which is probably a good idea, actually. But, you know, yeah, don't forget to like the stream, everybody. Um... 
Little Vamp says, do you think Trump is purposefully antagonizing the CC, uh, CCP as in Chinese Communist Party by using the terms Chinese virus and Kung Flu? He very well could be. I know, obviously, Trump doesn't like the um, CCP, but, you know, um, China virus, Chinese virus. Um, be honest, I think it's quite funny where he just says it and people get upset. But the thing is, the virus did originate in China. And the thing is, like we've all been saying, we do, most of us have nothing against Chinese people. But again, you know, people call the Spanish flu the Spanish flu, even though it didn't originate in Spain. And like MERS is Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, whatever it is. So it seems weird that this particular virus, you can't refer to it as the Chinese virus, even though historically lots of viruses are referred to their country of origin. But what I'm really hoping they do now, like a lot of people are, is that the CCP finally clamps down on wet markets where, you know, there's lots of animal cruelty and it's just like this weird pre-medieval kind of, you know, barbarism, you know. Stop the, you know, stop weirdos buying live animals to slaughter where they're all crammed in next to each other because it's a breeding ground of plagues, basically. Um, Nintendo Boy, thank you very much again. He said, also want to say, stuff's getting crazy here. There was a fight over something at my drug mart. They were in front of my park truck so I couldn't get out. And then one of them shouted they had a gun almost through my CCW. It's crazy. And the thing is, in the UK, at least, is a lot of people won't have firearms, which is going to be both good and bad. You're probably going to be less likely to get shot by somebody, but at the same time, um, obviously, if somebody attacks you, most people are going to have a lot less in terms of self-defense. So, um, yeah, stay safe. But I think it's going to get crazy in a lot of areas. There's already been footage of a lot of places of, you know, people looting or soldiers that being deployed on the streets. In the UK, apparently there was looting in London, then people were saying there wasn't. But there's videos of, like, a Tesco's or something having the windows smashed in for people to steal alcohol, so... Yeah, the government will be the one shooting you exactly, Jason. It'll be a traffic order. Yeah. Is, is it still on here or did I put the DVD away? Please tell me I didn't put the DVD away, is it? Oh, did I pack my Fred's DVD away? If I did, that's quite disappointing. Sorry, I was just seeing if I, I can't spot my Fred's DVD. People don't know what Fred's is, it's very sort of, oh no, it's fallen under the bed, hang on, well, it's not even a bed anymore, but... Right, let's see if I can reach it, because this is not an easy place to reach through. Right. Ah, yeah, in the UK that'd be who's shooting you. Right. Oh, sorry to hear that Operation Nightfall. Is the government going to bail him out at all? Because that's what they're meant to be doing over here, but I obviously don't know what country you're in. Nicholas says, on Shalom's website, as in the Israeli rubber company, there's apparently a model of the civilian respirator that has a panoramic lens. Have you ever heard or seen one before? No, let me look that up. It's Shalom rubber, isn't it? Shalom Rubber. Shalom.co.il is their website address. Is it on the Civil NBC protection page? Um, I know they do like the weird um, powered air hoods. Is that the one you're thinking of? Or are you actually thinking of the NBC regular civilian respirators? Because all the ones on here are the ones, you know, of the standard uh, two eyepieces, the 4A1. Um, but there's the rest pro if you're thinking of this thing, which is like a little kid's uh, mask, I would imagine. Is that the one you're thinking of? I don't know. All right. Oh, thank you, Dwarven Miner. Almost missed your chat there. For those with supply shortage, campage, uh, for those with supply shortages, camping stores, good idea because they normally sell like trail mix type stuff, don't they? And energy bars and stuff in camping stores and probably um protective gear i guess you could call it oh most of it's just going to be staying here masks and preps but i don't think that's going to be any time in the future considering what's going on at the moment do you this is just going to be the storage room <laughs> we'll leave it all here although saying that um at the moment i'm handing out masks to family members and friends so at least i'm getting rid of it somehow that way yeah, 
John P, I will certainly do another helmet collection video at some point because I've got a lot more soon. I imagine the one that's going to come in the most handy soon will be this one. Poppy said, what's the best filter for gas? It would depend on what the gas is, but I would recommend like an ABEC 2 filter because those cover the most types of gases. So where's that breeze filter I was looking at the other day? Something like this, because again, it's pretty bulky, but it covers multiple types of gas. So something like that. Frank Lafitte as well. Thank you very much again. I really appreciate it. He said, question, I live in a small co um, county in the US. I was thinking about the, um, using the S10 for whenever I'm in public. Do you think police could arrest me for wearing it? I very much doubt they could due to all the you know freedom laws you're meant to have in the US. Whether or not a cop could waste your time over it and stuff like that, probably. Um, does your state have any rules towards like balaclavas or county, you know, county to balaclavas, you know, ski masks, anything like that? Because I imagine it would fall under that. Um, I've actually um, got that, which should offer some protection, but I think I might just get some motocross armor at some point, Dwarven Miner. Um, what I was saying, that some of the um, military plate carriers I've got would cover the spine just with a trauma plate anyway. Um... But yeah, I imagine it, you'd have to look up your state laws. But in the UK, at least, you're pretty much fine as long as you don't go into banks or police stations wearing respirators. Thank you very much, Ross. But yeah, if, if your laws, and I don't know the UK is pretty draconian, but even in the UK, you could wear a gas mask on public transport, you know, in and out shops. And all somebody could say to you is, could you please leave my store if they don't like it with you with the mask on? But walking down the street with an S10 shouldn't be an issue whatsoever. Did they think you were Jason Voorhees, though, Frank, regarding that? Because maybe they thought you were just going to go to Crystal Lake and, like, machete a load of people. But if not, then... Um, the thing is, though, at the moment, is apparently a lot of people are getting a lot more tolerant with people wearing masks just because of, you know, the whole global pandemic and all that. Um, yeah, that's, that's really weird, isn't it? Uh, Pirhus, if I'm pronouncing your name right, but... Or Pyrus, um, yeah, but aren't 3M masks legal to own? So you've got the weird thing where a really old French, like M51 or something, is illegal, whereas a 3M full face mask and all that isn't. So yeah, they thought it was Jason Takes Manhattan or whatever it was, it Frank, but yeah, um, as far as I'm aware, I'd say just wear your mask, you know, and if you have to deal with the police, just say you're wearing it for your own protection. You're not out there to harm anybody. Hope you deal with some, you know, decent cops. All right. I suppose if they compliment you on your Jason mask, they'll probably compliment you on your S10. But um, yeah, Oak said, Oak said, put a burka on top and you'll be fine. But yeah, so the issue I imagine you might have is, as said, you might get some weird looks, but personally, um, what options have you got near you, Jay Clark? Because the issue is everything is selling out at the moment, um, but generally Millsurp is pretty good. Uh, you know, if you're in the US, it might be harder to recommend. Can you still get US M40s in decent condition? But obviously, the issue is a lot of stuff is just selling out. And it's hard to know what's for, you know what's in stock except what's in your area. But a lot of people say, you know, check small hardware stores, you know, and all that sort of stuff and see if they've got anything in. Thank you very much again, Nintendo Boy. He said, did you look into that Duncan Lemp thing any more than after you initially Googled it when we talked about it? Not very much more, obviously, just that he was apparently asleep and was shot by the police. And wasn't he doing some, like, pro-Second Amendment activism? So again, it's very dodgy, but there's been a lot of stuff recently. Wasn't there everything in Virginia where they were uh, trying to um, restrict like people's right to own firearms and all that? But a lot of Americans have said to me in a chat with recently that it looks like a load of shit's going to go down in the US regarding um, the Second Amendment, you know, and lots of rights that you should have in the US, but states are trying to infringe upon them. Um, you know, it's probably something I'll read into more a bit later on, but yeah tonight it was more I was just constantly watching the news to find out you know if my employer was going to keep me employed kind of thing but um 
I do, Nathan. Unfortunately, look, I don't know if I can briefly get this to show up in the frame. You can see the shadow of it. Whoops. Um, on YouTube's on YouTube's rules, I am not allowed to show them on streams anymore. Weirdly. Um, but yeah, because I've got the exact thing he's holding there. Look, the SLR. But I'm not actually allowed to um, show it you on the stream because it might hurt YouTube's feelings. But yeah. Nope. My employer told me not to go in tomorrow. So the op they're basically saying don't turn up until further notice. And I think they're going to let us know as they know as a company what's going on because I imagine as a company it's not a very good thing, but you know. I don't think that's ever worked for the UK, Haiku. Um, making something illegal makes it go away. I think it just means they can pretend it's gone away. Um, it might work to a degree, Jason Jack. It would give you better protection than nothing, let's put it that way. But would it work as well as a proper HEPA filter? No. If somebody said to me, you, cannot, you can either not wear a mask, or you can wear a 3D printed... Um, you know, like HEPA mask, I'd wear the 3D printed HEPA mask, uh, not HEPA mask, sorry, 3D printed filter shoved with cotton because it's better than nothing, but you know. As far as I'm aware, Zinc, man, they're doing a thing like if you got laid off, they might cover it. Or if your company's still employing you, they're paying 80% of your wages. So either way, they're, they're giving you some money by the sound of it. Both YouTube, Benjamin, and... I used to work as a cleaner slash kitchen porter, but as of today, I've been told by, you know, the government, you can't go into work anymore because of what's going on at the moment. Um, so I'm just going to see if I can get some more volunteer shifts at the animal shelter, because at least I'm doing something and out of the house doing that. So, yeah, we might all end up losing our jobs yet, Chris, then, I guess. The thing is, when they say they're going to do one thing or the other, you never know how it's going to work, do you? And again, if they're printing money, it's just going to cause economic problems down the road. I agree with you there. What's going on in Switzerland? I know they're having the same coronavirus problems as everywhere else. Dreadlock YX. But what makes Switzerland uh, Switzerland's situation unique? Um, I think pretty much every mask is running out at the moment due to Corona. Um, I was thinking, was there something behind me that was relevant to a question somebody asked a minute ago, but as far as I'm aware, no. The Avon CT12 John NP, but I also like the Spassiani TR2002. Oh, what, like actual new infection uh, new infection rates? Let me get up, um, what's it, wordometers and look up the trend graphs. That's quite worrying if it's higher than Italy. But yeah, Italy today, 627 new deaths. Jesus Christ, that's a scary figure. At least on the mainstream media now, they're actually getting doctors to explain why it is not just the flu for all the idiots that go, oh, it's just the flu, bro. Um, so we want Switzerland. Um, so how many new cases did Switzerland have today? Oh yeah, your actual growth curve is going like that now, isn't it? It's like more vertical than Italy, so yeah, in a few days, it's not, not good to think about. In Switzerland, do you still have your nuclear bunker under your house? Because I thought they did that in Switzerland for a while, because you could maybe hide in your fallout shower, couldn't you? That's just the only thing I can think of, um, you know. Jay Clark, yes, a painter's mask would work. Um, depends what filters you've got on it, though. Where did I put my JSP I was holding up earlier on the stream? There it is, how many threads. Get a painter's mask, if you mean something like this, or a 3M. Make sure it's got the particle filters on, not the vapour filters. Put some ski goggles with it or something else, and then you're protecting your eyes and, um, you know, respiratory tract. So that would work for you to a degree, yeah. Especially if you can't get a proper, you know, like military style mask or industrial mask, whatever. If not, 
something like this would offer you safety glasses would offer some protection i know it's not perfect but at least that's going to cover more of your face for splash protection it could be soup but i think it's just going to be in a lot of it it's just a lot worse than people thought and again the more stuff breaks down the worse the death rate gets yeah, what's the overall death rate in Italy on resolved cases? 44%. You know, it's, it's grim, isn't it? Um, I'm not a fan of the GP7 at all, Mr. Sir, because, weirdly... Oh, look, there's a deactivated gun. I can't show my stream, but I'm not holding it. Look, YouTube. Uh, GP7, there's one up there. GP7s have pretty poor quality control. As in, the GP7, um, my particular GP7 doesn't take filters very well because the threads are cheap. Um, it has no oral nasal cup or proper Tissot system, so they fog up horribly. Um, but, you know, if you can get a GP7 and it fits you, Better than nothing, isn't it? Jesus Christ, Renzo. Why is, have you just not had many cases in the Netherlands? Let's have a look. Netherlands. Oh, yeah, 98%. Yeah, two people have been recovered or discharged, but 106 people have died. How many cases, Joe, at the moment? 2,886. Either you have very bad hospitals or you just have very ill people so far go in. What's our UK number like? Uh, we're at 73% death rate. Not good. Check CM4 is a very good mask, Thomas Patriot. Is my CM4 behind me? I've got a CM4. The problem with CM4 is although some people have said it's 40mm NATO, I actually thought it was Ghost. So again, good luck getting filters to fit it easily, but I can't spot my CM4. I'm just trying to see where I've put it. But, hmm. oh, I might have put my CM4 away in a box, actually, saying that. Uh, it's probably in a box. I won't bother looking it out now, but... So, um... Gash Goblin 99 says, is anything open in the UK? Not pubs anymore, not clubs, not restaurants not cafes uh the only things open as far as i'm aware is supermarkets and pharmacies pretty much there'll probably be some other shops open but more and more places are choosing even you know except for government advice to close down so you know um i don't actually have a trend air stealth some people asked me to review them and then when it got to the past uh, point to buy one to review they'd inflated so much i didn't buy one but it looks like it'd be absolutely fine it's a bit of a weird looking design but you know, as long as it fits your face well enough and it's a P3 rated mask, it will be fine. I've tried several Peacemaker. With some I can smell vapour, others I can't. But I don't know if that's simply because my CM4 might be a slightly, you know, too big size for my face. Or it could be that parts of the CM4 have worn down and just let vapour through even with a filter on. Nintendo Boy, thank you very much again. He said, I gotta head out, homie. Let me know if you have any problems with the post or your CM4. And I'll see what I can do for my end. Thank you very much. Hopefully it'll be fine. Send me your PayPal details anytime now, and then next time I check Discord, I can sort you out whatever you want. Uh, but thank you very much for finding a C4 for me. I appreciate it. What's some form of competition for the LBM? Sorry, Chris. Oh, what's happened to the XM55 and the apparently ability to use 40 mm M61 filters? Let me look up an XM55. That sounds like it's an experimental US mask. That's a cool looking thing, but um, yeah, is that one where it has two different kind of valve setups, or like a little adapter? Was it the old Dutch Model K, which was a cool one that had like a 60 and 40 millimeter thread on it, so you could put either filter on? Right. Regarding FP5 filters, Goth Kid, um, Duke Nougat said something to me earlier, which is probably worth repeating. Um, he said with 
the Polish filters, apparently the older P5 ones did fit Ghost masks fine, and then later FP5s didn't, but from my experience, early FP5s seemed to fit Ghost filters fine, or Ghost filter threads, sorry, fine, and later FP5s don't. So what I think it might be, and Hype was suggesting this, is that the tooling, like in Mask Poles Factory, the tooling they used on FP5 filters, it might have been on a random year, you know, the tooling got changed and now they no longer fit Ghost threads. But my older mask pole filters fit Ghost threads absolutely fine. The newer ones don't seem to. So in regards to would an FP5 filter fit a Ghost thread, it might completely depend on what year your FP5 filter is from. If you want to get a filter that definitely fits a Ghost thread, if you can try and get one of these Briz filter or Breeze filters, whatever they call them, or any of, or like the dot filters or whatever, you know, like the Russian filters made for um, actual Ghost threads, which are modern. The issue is apparently Russia's banned all PPE exports now because Russia wants to use it internally. So, um, you know, you might struggle there. Ah, so Lucas, thank you for that. He says, you've got an FP5 from 2000 fi uh, 2006 that fits my GP5 perfectly or airtight, no cross-threading. That's the thing is some of my FP5s, no cross-threading at all, fit my GP5s fine, you know. Shim's fine, PMG is fine, all that sort of stuff. The FP6 filters certainly don't fit them, and my later FP5s don't either. So I think it must have been a thing where after a certain year the tooling got changed in the factory. That's the only thing I can really think of. Um, but yeah, if you're wondering, there is such a thing as an FP6 filter, but it does just look like an FP5 that's a bit different. If it wants to focus, let me put this light this way so it might focus. FP6, and the bottom of the filter is slightly different, but otherwise it looks like an FP5. But this one was manufactured in 1313. How could it be manufactured in 1313 unless? Well, it says 2013 there, runs out in 2028. So these have a 15 year shelf life, but these don't fit Ghost threads, by the way, for anybody wondering. Yeah, stay safe, everybody. If you believe in a certain god or whatever, I'd advise praying to it. If you're an atheist or agnostic or whatever, you know, believe in what you want to believe in, but stay safe, everybody. Sunstrom masks are meant to be very good, but I don't have any personally. Everybody I've talked to has used Sunstrom masks, says they're excellent, but I've just never used one myself, so I can't really comment. I'll be off in a minute. Um, Moons Out Goons Out says, I have a 1961 Yugo filter, trust or bust. Uh, I personally wouldn't use it. Yugoslavian masks are like some of the lowest quality ones and that's nothing against Yugoslavia because I love Yugo helmets and stuff like that There's a Yugo helmet underneath that East German one there. That's a very good helmet Apparently Yugoslavia made good SKS's and stuff like that as well But apparently, you know when it comes to Yugoslavian masks and filters the quality was a bit shit um, So personally, I would say no don't go for Yugoslavian gas masks But yeah, although the one, thank you, Gretchen, but the thing I will say for people that are religious, if, if, if you don't have the virus and they say go to a massive packed church, mosque or something else to all pray with other people, don't do it because you're going to spread a virus that way. You know, like just in Iran, everybody was going to a shrine and kissing a shrine or something to be cured of Corona. Shrines, as Dr. John says, shrines don't have antiviral properties. I'll just point that out. Um, Peacemaker says, I can't find you, um, can't find any mask to fit a NATO filter. Um, where are you, in the States, Peacemaker, or somewhere else? But the problem is, at the moment, it's very hard to just find masks in stock anywhere, regardless of 40mm NATO, 40mm Ghost. See you, Rajiv, stay safe. Uh, you're in London, aren't you, Rajiv? So yeah, be very careful in London, because I imagine you're ahead of the curve, aren't you, from the rest of us in the UK? I'll be off in a minute, but a massive thank you to everybody that's donated tonight. Um, I'm, I'll probably stream tomorrow as well, by the way, because, of course, I'm not at work now tomorrow because my job's been closed by the government. So, <laughs> there's that. Um, what's my least favourite mask? I'll get it out for you. This thing. It might look good, but it's not good. 
The main issue is the straps on it are absolute bollocks. I don't know if you really do work for Avon, Lotta, but he says, any Avon questions on COVID, I work for Avon. Is Avon mass producing any masks for the NHS or anything like that? Because I think literally any PPE Avon could spam out for NHS staff or police would be very appreciated by them. But I don't know. Are we like the US before they made that decision where mask companies can't actually make filters for hospital staff unless they had some weird regulation? That was one of the few good things Trump did recently where he dropped the ball over Corona or Mike Pence did where they actually are changing the qualification now. So masks that are technically good enough, you know, to block particulates can be given to medical staff. So it means that, you know, like 3M hardware masks can be given to doctors now on the front line so they can actually have a mask. Thank you very much, Jan. He says, do you have a CO1? I don't need mine. What's a CO1? I don't believe I do. Is it a gas mask? Oh, that's interesting. So it's a Czechoslovakian one that looks a bit like the CM3, but it's not by the look of it. I don't have that, but I don't actually need one. So it's literally very similar looking to the um, MC1 and CM3, isn't it? I don't have one, but I don't need one. But find somebody who lives near you, I guess, that doesn't have a mask and might need one because they'll be the person that needs it the most. But yeah, so it is a CM3 predecessor, but no, I don't have that. But yeah, the pewter mask, the reason it's shit, and according to hype, pewter is like the worst of the Chinese mask manufacturing companies. The mask's made from a rubber that's so soft, and this isn't soft in a good way, like not soft in a comfortable way, it's so soft that it folds in on itself. So you're wearing the mask with the weight of a filter on it, and then it keeps doing that. You know, that's a sign of quality, isn't it? Um, and the other issue is the straps ping off because the straps are held on by friction. So you're like randomly adjusting the strap to try and get the straps, you know, on tight. And then all of a sudden the strap pings off. I can't actually ever seem to get them to do it while I'm um, not wanting them to fly off. But basically the straps are held on via friction. Always design a strap system where they're actually attached somehow properly. You know, the buckles. Um, don't don't see this one i forced it through that bit so it doesn't fly off because this buckle would ping off every time you adjusted the top strap yep i do know um mikhail eager that the cm3 is czech the cm4 is czech as well and very good masks i've been to the czech republic lovely country and i very briefly went to slovakia that was also nice um so you know hello to you i can't remember what hello was in czech is it ahoy or is um am i thinking of another country now but hello to you. But yeah, so this mask both crumples in on itself through the weight of a filter and the straps ping off when you tighten them. Let me uh, try and put a filter on and see if I can demonstrate it for you all before I go off. Uh, so let's loosen the straps fully first. The thing is, this mask looks good, but it's really not good. Um, you know, typical example of something that looks like it might work and doesn't work. Right, so let's... First, put this on like that. Right. Can you see it already is doing it, right? Man, this head harness is so shit. Right. Look at that. <clears throat> see? That's not... Oh. <laughs> yeah, so this is how you don't design a mask, by the way. But anyway, it's sort of on my face now. There we go. All right, let's shove a filter on it. This has a weirdly high breathing resistance as well. Doesn't like filter screwing into it either. You're completely right, Curve, but it is real. No, I don't think the filter wants to screw in. Unless it screws in reverse on this mask, but I reckon it just doesn't like filters very well. Yeah, don't don't ever wear a mask like this out in public if you wanted a mask to actually work. Right, let's try and screw a filter in. Oh, I've just figured out the problem. It's not NATO threaded, is it, this mask? I think this might even be Ghost. 
Right, tell you what, let's crack open that Briz filter. So I haven't opened it yet. Let's just see if it's Goss threaded. Well, Goss filter's going to fit anyway. But let's put this mask. This will demonstrate the point of why it doesn't work very well as well with this, because it's a giant filter look. That's right, let's put a Goss filter on. Big Goss filter. Right, that's screwed in a bit better, but still not screwed in very well because of how shallow the filter screw thread is on the mask. Right. Now line this up with my case again. Try and get this strap comfortable, which is easier said than done. Right, so there you go. Oh, see, it's doing that again. So this is the amazing Chinese pewter mask. I think it's a rip-off of some sort of um, Honeywell mask or Scott mask. I can't remember which mask it is. It might even be a Drago um, Explore. But man, the breathing resistance on this is awful as well. Look at this. This mask has a massive breathing resistance as well. So I'm assuming it's because it has such a small intake hole. I don't know. Let's, let's have a look. Oh, it doesn't actually have an inlet valve either. Look at that. So it's probably meant to be used for the PAPA system. But yeah, they're so cheap, they couldn't even put a fucking intake valve on something fell out. Oh, let's see what fell out. Oh, the rubber washers fall out of it as well. Right. Regarding the rubber washers, I'm going to keep them for spares because I can always use them to force filters, you know, onto masks they don't normally fit on. But yeah, it doesn't even have a fucking inlet valve on this. So... Wake up and smell the roses, thank you very much. He says, is a 3M P100 P3 SL filter sufficient? Yes, that would be sufficient, as long as you've got a mask it fits on properly. But yes, I would recommend it over using this piece of shit. There you go. So yeah, if you're buying a Chinese mask, don't buy this one. And this is what annoyed me when I bought that FMJ recently. Not the FMJ05, well, the FMJ05 FM MF11 sort of export version. Uh, the problem with that was, of course, they literally had um, pretty much designed a mask um, that was originally fine, but they put this strap system on it, so it was pinging off straps again. All right, that can go on the floor. I wouldn't normally throw a mask around, but that's literally a piece of shit. If anybody who was in China was responding to coronaviruses and had those masks, I think we know why they caught it. Um, right, let me just catch up with the comments before I go off. Um, Ross said, would you say I'm okay using hand sanitizer on my GP5? What, to disinfect it? If it's a strong enough hand sanitizer that it would kill viruses, as in 60 to 70% alcohol, then that would be fine. Um, Vladimir says, sorry to disturb. What the fuck rubber could do with some advanced uh, mercury? What, the bloody pewter? Um, what about Polish FP5 filters, Curb? Oh, last one used. It depends if you mean against vapours or against particulate threats. Against particulate threats, the same amount of time as every other particle filter, so pretty much forever, unless you're in a really dusty environment. Against vapours, they'd need to be in date for me to recommend them, and then, again, it depends what the vapours are. I think MaskPole probably has a write-up on their website about how long, you know, the filter lasts against certain gases. But, again, it's really hard to actually say without knowing, because it's a bit of a how long is a piece of string question. Uh, no, I don't suggest painting the outside of a mask for looks, but I guess if you want to, go ahead and do it. Yeah, Polish MP6 do look really cool. I might be able to get one soon, potentially. Piotr, that's B-Store, said he might be able to sort me one out, uh, which I'd love to do a video on. But otherwise, you know, unfortunately, they've never really hit the surplus market. Um, right, I'm going to go off in a minute, but I'll answer Hirazumu first. He says, what do you think is better for a Spassiani TR2002CL2 without filter? 30 pounds or a ppm 88 with filter i told you i say 50 spassiani by a mile the problem with the ppm 88s is and apparently this is from people who are really into their ppms is that some ppm 88s are really high quality others like mine are pretty low quality of broken parts so i would say go for the spassiani because that's a very good mask for 30 pounds and then just find a filter you know for the 20 pound mark whereas the um ppm 88 it could either be good or it could be bad depending on which russian factory made it at which time but yeah anyway i'll be off
All right, I'm, I'm going to answer straightest.pl first, or straightest Poland first, because he says, I hope you can help me with this. I need to get some dust masks, and I found some Soviet U2K masks to say, are they suitable for protection against coronavirus? Right. I'll answer this as the last thing before I go off. Problem with Soviet U2K or Y2K masks, I've got two of them behind me. The protection level apparently varies depending on which mask they are from which manufacturer makes them. So, like, these ones are rated FFP1R, so they're probably not good enough. They're the same protection as a basic M95 mask, or a bit better. Some of these even go up to PP, uh, PP3, or, you know, FFP3 uh, rating. So you can get these in essentially FFP1, FFP2, and FFP3. Uh, so I'm really not sure. It would depend which ones you get, but they're better than cheap, shitty dust masks, but... In regards to how good they are, it would depend on which type you get, because not all of them are created equal with these. So, there you go. Right, a massive thank you to everybody um, that donated. I'll probably be on tomorrow at some point, because I've been told by the government I can't go to work anymore. Like, a lot of people in the UK now. Um, but yeah, see you and stay safe, everybody. That's the most important thing, stay safe. So, good evening, goodbye to everybody.